What's up, happy people? It's Matt from Three Pound Fishing, and I'm telling you what, I've got a surprise for you. We are at Lake O the Pines, located in Jefferson, Texas, and my first time being here. You're gonna see a lot of episodes coming out of this great fishery. I've heard so much about it. It's been on my bucket list forever. And finally this year, I said, you know what? I'm taking three days. I'm going down there, I'm fishing. Hooked up with a fantastic guy, Evan Ferris. He's hooked me up with an incredible place to stay. You're gonna see that. These, these uh, episodes will be sponsored by his vacation rental here on the lake. Can't uh, recommend it enough. But anyway, I'm here to catch big fish. That's it. And uh, fish this timber I keep seeing on the internet and I'm excited, you know. I've had uh, my other big lake that I was always excited about fishing was Grenada, and I love Grenada. But I gotta tell you, folks, I'm super psyched about this now. So I'm gonna take you along for the ride. We're gonna have a great time, and uh, we are fishing out of Johnson Creek. So we're gonna go right across the lake, right to the timber, and uh, we're gonna see what we can find out. Stick with me, big fish about to go in the boat. Now, because we're on an unfamiliar body of water, we're definitely wearing our life jacket. I'm not quite sure what the regulations are here, but when I run on any type of water that I'm not familiar with, you gotta wear your life jacket, very important. Now, this is a very nice boat ramp, Johnson Creek. And it does cost $5 to, to put in here, but without a doubt, extremely nice. I can already tell that there's nice little locations down there for boats especially if you're single. It's a very accommodating. All I gotta do is put this live scope screen on and we are good to go. Could do this down in the water, but there's nobody here except for there's one other boat, which is interesting because I know the wind's gonna be up today roughly around 10, 11 miles an hour, but it's coming out of like the south. So I don't think it's gonna impact the timber that much. It would, I would think that the timber would, uh, would shield it Folks, this video is sponsored by Pine Cove Cabin. You can reach them at pinecovecabin.com. Whether or not you're visiting the historical city of Jefferson or you're fishing for big slabs on Lake of the Pines, this is the place to stay. We're talking two bedrooms, two bath. It's right on the water. It just doesn't get any better. Folks, I've never been to Lake of the Pines until this week, and I can tell you, this is an incredible tip I'm giving you. It doesn't get any more convenient to the boat ramps or to the water. You are right here on the water and you've got a great host in Glen Ferris. Check it out at pinecovecabin.com. Folks, you're gonna love it. I know that they do publish waypoints on this lake. So if you're not into the timber and you wanna go right to some structure, Now, before I came here, I definitely did my research. I called around, I watched some YouTube videos, but I also went to lakeofthepinesfishingreport.com. That helped out a bunch, so check that out. Folks, once you see timber, you need to put that trolling motor down and just start looking for crappie. And I'll tell you, they're right across this Johnson Creek area. So, like I said, today's weather is it's gonna be windy. So today we're gonna have about roughly 10 to 11 mile an hour winds, high of 44, I believe it is. Winds coming out of the south. Uh, so that's what we're dealing with weather-wise. All right, so I'm wearing the heavy gear today. I just don't know what it's gonna be like out there on the water and I just don't wanna be cold. The agenda is to put big slabs in the boat. If you like this type of content, please do me a favor, subscribe. That'd mean a lot to me. And uh, I'll tell you what, if this trip works out as good as I think it's going to, we're gonna be doing a lot of these, traveling to these different lakes, these gyms in the United States. And uh, I'll tell you what, just sitting around the table last night, there's a lot of them here in Texas, uh, big lakes. So, and, and I should put some stats on Pine of the Lakes. I believe it's around 17,000 acres. Um, that's really the only stat I know, other than a big crappie. So let's put some fish in the boat. Here we go. Gosh, what a stingy fish. But we got her. <laughs> got off. Damn it. Damn. 
Damn it. So people, I'm gonna keep it real because not every ex <laughs> everything happens perfectly. And sometimes you don't set the hook hard enough and sometimes you go to the left because you're trying to accommodate for the camera like I think I did there and you lose a fish. So I'm keeping it real. It's not always perfect, but I can tell you we put big fish in the boat, but that's reality, that's fishing. That's our first fish of the day, folks. Right there, that's a hammer. That is a solid, what is that, a 14 inch bite? Good Lord. I'm telling you folks, the fish are big here. And anytime you start off a day with a 14 incher, I'm going, oh my gosh, what can this be? Now, if you notice, there are no boats around. And that comes down to the fact that it is gonna become extremely windy. All right, what I'm using is the uh, slasher head Jinko fishing baits on Lake of the Pines, right here. Big orange, 1 16th ounce head with the whatchamacallit, uh, I don't know if they call that baby shad or whatever, but that's what I'm gonna start with here. I have two 1 8 ounce weights on there. I'll show you here what my setup looks like. Three pound fishing elite series from Ozark Rods. There's a two one eighth ounce. I can go bigger, but I didn't know what to expect here, so I just bought a bunch of one eighth ounce. And because it's windy, I want to have it weighted down pretty good. K9406 pound, that's all. I'm not going with anything heavier. This ain't bad. This ain't bad at all. Now the rule is that you do have to keep the first top 25 fish. Your, your 25 fish, you have to keep. Doesn't matter what size. So when we drop down, we gotta make sure we drop down on something. And because of that win, I had to change the camera angle. I knew you would not hear a thing if I kept you up there on that pole. So at Lake of the Pines, there's a large area outside of Johnson Creek to fish for these crappie. I'm talking stumps, trees, everything you can imagine. It doesn't matter how many anglers are out there, there's enough room for you all. But I'll tell you, it's just, you know, today it's a challenge because we got a bunch of big rollers coming in, big time waves, it's high winds, that type of thing. But at the end of the day, it's all about presentation of that bait. It didn't seem like there was a particular bait that was working more than another, but I can tell you that it was all about making sure that you had it on its forehead before it would actually take the bait. I'm gonna show you what I'm using on that. I'm using a, a yellow slasher head, 1 16th ounce, and that is the green monkey right there for people fishing. Again, all on a six pound high floral from K9 and using those two one eighth ounce weights. Well, he played with it for a while, I'll tell you that. Whoa. 
That's a dandy black right there. Check it out, folks. That's awesome. <laughs> he came off that log and he filed it. He just kept following it. That's like a 1.8 or something like that. We're going to measure some of these fish at the end of this episode. But I appreciate you guys watching. Let's put some more big fish in the boat. Look at the thickness on that sucker. Now, originally I wanted to show you some live active captain, but it was just so difficult with this wind. But I'll tell you what's going on here. We're definitely fishing a minimum of 22 foot down, but all the way down to maybe around 32 foot. So 22 was kind of the beginning of where these crappie were, but definitely as deep as 32. For a fish. I don't know how good this guy is or not, but oh he's a he's a hammer. <laughs> good night, folks. Come on now. This is ridiculous. I might have found my new favorite plague, folks. Good night. God. They grow on big in Texas. There ain't no joke, man. Ain't no joke. Every single fish is just an absolute hammer. Yeah. I, I haven't seen a small fish yet. I have not seen a small fish yet. Ooh, baby, that's the small fish of the day, but I'll take it. First one on my hair jig here at Lake of the Pines. Ooh, that one's kind of bruised up. Check that out. Bit. Hammers, man. These are two of the biggest that we caught today, right here. Great fishing. You gotta love it. Approximately about an eight hour drive uh, to get down here from Southern Illinois. But man, well worth it. And uh, just a lot of fun. The weather's supposed to continue to get better, so I look forward to it. So. Do me a favor, follow me on Facebook. I post uh, a lot of pictures from these trips and everything I do uh, daily. So uh, do me a favor, like me over there on Facebook and Instagram. And we've also got that Facebook group called Life Scope, everything you need to know. So check it out, man. That's all great information. So, all right, we're gonna hit this lake again tomorrow. Appreciate it, guys. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing partnered up with these fantastic companies. Folks, this is the first episode. Let me just tell you, the fish get bigger. A lot of two pounders coming up in the next episode. So sit back, relax, and enjoy them. I'll be posting them about every three days. So Great Lake, check it out. Lake of the Pines Fishing Report, a great resource, and certainly check out Pine Cove Cabins. They're located on the lake. Have a great one, guys.